Welcome to another episode of SpaceX in the News. <laughs> I'm Kevin, and today we're going to start things off by dispelling some rumors that I guess were started by another YouTuber concerning Starship and its development sites. Then we'll debrief yesterday's CRS-19 launch and share some pretty significant Crew Dragon updates. And we'll finish by taking a look at the upcoming launch manifest. So over the past few days, a rumor had been spread that SpaceX was completely shutting down Starship operations out of their Cocoa Florida site and laying off about 80% of the employees there. Well, we've already known for several months now that SpaceX has been in the process of moving the East Coast Starship work from Cocoa to Roberts Road at the Kennedy Space Center. But reporter Michael Sheets just debunked the recent rumor that most of the employees were to be laid off with a statement from SpaceX itself, writing, SpaceX has not recently laid off employees, telling me that it gave those workers on Starship in Florida the choice of either continuing work in Texas or supporting other SpaceX activities in Florida, and that just a few temporary employees decided to leave instead. And furthermore, that SpaceX says it paused, not fully stopped Starship's development in Florida, while the company focuses on building Mark III in Texas. See, about the time the Mark I prototype in Boca Chica popped its top during a pressure test a few weeks ago, SpaceX adjusted their development schedule and decided to focus most of their efforts on building the orbital class Mark III instead. And so Coco paused their work on Mark II and began supporting Boca Chica operations. For example, just the other day, a bulkhead that was built in Florida was placed on a SpaceX ship Go Discovery with two Starship stands and is currently sailing for Texas. The lower portion of the Mark I vehicle itself is being taken apart and scrapped. Some of it may be recycled for Mark III, but it should be noted that Elon did say that he will use some of the stainless steel for Cybertruck. The Boca Chica team has also broke ground for a new launch control center too. So keep those chins up, my fellow space nerds. The future has no time for the past. Yes. And speaking of the past, yesterday SpaceX launched their 19th resupply mission to the International Space Station out of the Cape. The Cargo Dragon capsule itself was significant, because it was the first capsule ever to be reused on CRS-11 after its maiden flight on CRS-4. The booster was a new Block 5 that was originally planned to land on the coast, but was changed to a drone ship landing because extra performance was required of the booster so the second stage could do a thermal demonstration in orbit after deployment. But as I was covering this live stream here on my channel, my heart briefly sank for a moment when the host of the webcast said this. The team is now performing minor refurbishments to that capsule to prepare for the actual in-flight abort test targeted for February of 2020. To hear that I had to wait a couple more months to get my parachute fixed was soul crushing, but I didn't cry in front of my audience. That would be embarrassing. I cried afterward. But as if there wasn't enough confusion already circulating out there with Starship, there are some in the community contesting this February test date. Stephen Clark tweeting, I'm told Crew Dragon in-flight abort might still occur before the end of this month. The host of SpaceX's webcast apparently misspoke when he said February 2020. But again, just like the Starship rumor, this is all hearsay. But I'll just tell you that since there's only a few weeks left in December to do this in-flight abort test, it's very possible that this Ace Ventura looking dude who hosted the live stream delivered some truth that maybe he wasn't supposed to announce. Or maybe SpaceX will surprise us in a couple weeks. I will add that SpaceX did recently tweet that they just completed the seventh successful test of their Mark III parachutes. And granted that Elon and NASA Administrator Bridenstine once announced that SpaceX will perform no less than 10 of these drop tests, that still leaves three to go by the end of the year. And the in-flight abort could happen before those three are complete. Uh, we recently want to get uh, at, least, you know, at least something over 10 successful tests in a row before, uh, before launching astronauts. All right, to wrap things up, SpaceX's next launch is JCSAT-18 on December 15th. It's a Falcon 9 launch with a fairing since this is a satellite deployment. The booster will land on Of Course I Still Love You, and hopefully SpaceX will attempt the first catch of both fairing halves. We don't know at this time. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. A very special thank you to my eccentric YouTube members and patrons whose generosity supports the production of these videos. And thank you all for tuning in. Have a great weekend, and until I see you in the next one, Godspeed.